More on this story, we are now joined uh, from Durban by the gift of the givers, founder and chairperson, Dr. Imtiaz Suleiman. Dr. Suleiman, thank you so much for joining us. Have you been in contact uh, with uh, uh, your rescued gift of the givers member? Yes. You know, it was strange. Yesterday, many media called us when they heard when the story broke. Because as you know, we're actively involved in Mali at the moment, busy on the Stephen McGowan case. But we had no information at that point. And up to last night, we never knew of any South Africans being caught up in, in that hotel. But this morning, on our personal chat, we have a chat group where search, search and rescue members and medical members post vital information. And the information came through this morning that one of our search and rescue members was indeed in Mali at the time. And later on, we got confirmation from himself that he was in the hotel. There was a shootout whilst he was in the hotel. He ducked in his room then went into the tub because in case bullets came through the wall and it was safer to duck in the tub and, and, and lie there. This morning he mentioned that the United Nations people came and he and other people were saved from the hotel. They were not taken hostage. They were in their rooms. They were, taken, they were safely recovered from the hotel and then taken to the United Nations compound. But I must stress he was there in his personal capacity, not as a gift of the givers or in any gift of the givers assignment at that point. Mm -hmm. But uh, so far, do you have any other information on uh, some other South Africans uh, that were there? Well, a little later after that, well, just a short while ago, in fact, he confirmed that there's another South African with him. He said that there were three of them, and, but we don't, we don't know if the third person was a South African. We know that him and the second person were both South Africans. They are both safe and they are alive. He said the third person is missing. Who the third person is, we don't know, and we don't know whether he's South African. I'm just waiting for more information in the next 15 minutes. Apparently, they're all now in the UN compound, all of them sitting together. They will be taken to a hotel to get some of their goods, you know, in the hotel, because they need some of their supplies. And we're waiting to see if there are any more South Africans besides the two mentioned and the one that was missing. Mm -hmm. So within the next 15 or 20 minutes, we should have that information. But uh, we, we are just receiving uh, some information right now that uh, unfortunately one South African died in that attack. Um, do you have any information in that regard in that uh, section there? They didn't confirm. As far as they don't know of any South African who has died at this, this moment of time. He doesn't know that. That may be in enough different group. But we've asked that information. But he did say, look, he said, look, I can't co communicate now. Uh, I'm, I'm traumatized. I'm not in the mood to speak right now. That was earlier. And he said also they told him, they probably meaning the, the United Nations, that it's not secure to talk on the phone now. But in the last few minutes, some information is coming through. And as I said, within 15 minutes, we should know if they are aware of a South African that has passed on and if they are aware of any other South Africans that are alive and with them at this moment of time. And what kind of assistance are you then giving to, uh, to your worker who is in Mali? And when can we expect him uh, or them back home? Well, he went not on, on behalf of us, as he went on a personal contract, but we've offered him any assistance that he requires, being a volunteer member of, of, of our team and have, having done great service for us in the Philippines. We offered him assistance, but for now he said he is fine, doesn't require any assistance, but he knows that assistance is available if he needs it in any form whatsoever. All right, thank you so much. That was the gift of the Givers founder and chairperson, Dr. Imtia Suleiman, speaking to us live from Devon.